Woo! What is going on, everybody? The Ethereum merge actually happened not long ago. It is now 8.47 in the morning, Eastern time, and I was looking at a lot of YouTubers' live streams. Shout out to all of you that live stream the event. I tried to live stream. I knew I couldn't make it to the event because I have to wake up stupid early for work. I've been at work for like three or four hours now. I probably slept for about four hours. Let me know if any of you did that. I'm not young anymore, man. I feel like I just partied hard all night at the club. But then you just realize you're waiting for the Ethereum merge. And uh, what are we seeing so far, guys, as of almost 9 a.m. EST? Holy crap, a lot of people went to Ergo. My goodness, I did not think this many people would go to Ergo. I knew a lot of people are interested in Ergo, but over 250 terahash. Yesterday, it was, I believe, under 50 terahash, more than a 5x. At one point, it was nearing 300 terahash. That is insane. That is insane, dude, to think about. And if you look at Ethereum Classic, it's actually around 250, 280. It depends on the making of the video or when you're watching this, right? But uh, we're seeing Ethereum Classic and uh, Ergo pretty much neck and neck so far on the hash rate. Now, one thing to consider with Ergo, it is two times the amount that you would get on Ethereum. So maybe you can cut that in half if you really wanted to compare it to ETC, whatever, right? But either way, you're seeing so many people coming to Ergo. To my surprise, Flux has actually grown for sure, but it hasn't like straight up gone impossible. And I'm, you know, this is good for me, right? Because I'm like 50, 40, or actually 60, 40 uh, ergo to Flux right now. So I'm actually thinking like, dude, if it's going to be this difficult to mine ergo, I'm going to step back from ergo a little bit, right? And put like the best cards on ergo still because I really like the project. But oh my goodness, man, not one we're talking about, you know, six six and, and six x or whatever it is on the hash rate and it could just go up more and more once more and more people are waking up i know there's still a lot of people on hive os having problems definitely let me know in the comment section below what your experience has been i am so glad and i feel so smart for switching like a week early because if i had to switch everything right now hive os has not been working for me i can get it to work sometimes for like one rig and then it just crashes out there's too many people right it's not quite as bad as when lhr happened you guys remember when lhr became unlocked oh my goodness dude using hive was impossible but i'm really glad and i think all of you that made that decision all of you that made that choice to switch early good on you man not only because you probably got some extra coin before this happens right but also you know you don't have to worry about it you can sleep through the night and uh you know i told myself i'm gonna go to bed normal time around 10 10 p.m but nope i think i went to bed around 1 a.m not, not on purpose, man. I just kept watching people live streaming, waiting for the event. I actually wasn't even awake for, for the actual merge. But yeah, I went back to watch the Hobbyist Miner, Red Panda, uh, Chump Change, and all them. Of course, I watched them at Misfit Mining. That was awesome. I even saw Brandon Coin. Shout out to Brandon Coin as well. But that's crazy, man. And so what I'm thinking, wow, do I need to turn off some of these 3090s? I only have like two or three. I'm thinking for sure, man. When I get home tonight, time to turn the 3090s off. The 3080s, hmm... Do I need to turn the 3080s off? I might need to turn the 3080s off. I don't know, right? Because on Ergo, they're doing so well as far as the wattage. I'm only using 160 watts up to 170 watts. But, you know, is it going to be profitable? I don't know. You know, that that's the craziest thing. Nobody knows, man. Uh, I'm assuming it's not profitable. Because when I left this morning, like I said, I left around 5 a.m., 5.30 in the morning, right? It still was saying I was, you know, making 40 bucks, which I know, I know, you know, you can't really trust any pool or any what to mine source right now at this current moment. Things need to settle. It's going to take time, right? Could take days, could take weeks. Hell, it could take a freaking month. Who knows, right? So I got to go with what my heart is. And what my heart is telling me right now, continue with the coins that I love, continue to support the projects that I love. But I need to watch and monitor the coins, right? Like I said, this morning, it said I was still getting, I believe, 10 uh, ergo. And yesterday, I was getting 11, right? And not too long ago, I was getting like 18. So, you know, 11 to 10, not a big deal. If I can still get those 10 ergo coins, cool. You know, not the worst thing in the world. As long as we're making some kind of money, I'm good with that. Now, if we go from, you know, that 11 that we had yesterday down to three ergo, woo! Wow, okay, at that point, man, maybe I just need to buy Ergo. I'm not really too sure. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Flux, though, is still yielding just about the same coin as well, right? But Flux, I was getting a lot more. I think I was getting 26 before I left this morning, which I'm sure the numbers have all changed. I was getting 24 Flux, so just losing two Flux there on the yield. And for me, especially throughout this bear market, I strongly suggest, you know, do your thing. I can't suggest. I can't suggest anything. You do your thing, guys, actually. I shouldn't say that. 
what I'm doing for my strategy is I'm worried about the yield only. I don't really care too much what the dollar amount is, you know, whether Ergo or Flux or Ravencoin or whatever is worth X amount of money. I'm not too concerned about that, right? Because that's just going to move around. But what I am concerned about is that yield. And something I mentioned on my live stream yesterday, just in case you got to watch it, was what coin can I get the most of? I really want to get a lot of coins, right? And obviously, before Ethereum merged, that was a much easier thing to do. But now I'm looking at little things, man. What are people not talking about? Conflux. What are people not looking at? Maybe Vert. To be clear, I will not be throwing my whole farm at any of these you know, smaller cap coins. But I do think a rig or a couple GPUs on some of these smaller coins could potentially be a good play for me. A good lottery ticket. Because on electricity, what am I losing? You know, I might... 30 cents a dollar a day if that on some of those lottery plays but those lottery plays could follow these proof of work booms that we're seeing yesterday i want to say it was beam it was either beam or vert remind me guys in the comment section below while we were live streaming went up 85 percent are you kidding me 85 percent Right? And so that's what I'm thinking, dude. You don't need a lot of hash on it. You don't need to throw a bunch of rigs on it or anything, but you can make some good gains in this type of market because nobody's thinking about it. Nobody's looking at a lot of these small baby cap coins, right? And are all of them good? Again, I don't know. I can't vouch for any of them. I've never really looked into their projects, but you got to ask yourself, if I want to keep want to make it through this you know are you able to do that are you able to or should you potentially consider some of these smaller cap coins just as a side hustle right not side hustle side lottery i'm sorry guys i got like no sleep because of ethereum merch man it's crazy how that was last night and uh man it's wild times it really is and i swear every time i check it it just boom. more and more people are aware i wonder when red panda once said there's a lot of people that don't even know there's an Ethereum merge going on. Do y'all think that's true? I mean, I, I don't have, I don't think he would ever lie to us. I'm just thinking to myself, like, do you think there's that many people that don't even know that they're not mining right now, that still have their rigs going, that have no idea that Ethereum has gone, have left it around the world? I wonder how many people that is, man. That's kind of crazy to think about. Like, I don't know. I'm so invested in crypto mining. This is my money. We spent a lot of money. Um, crazy. Just, just so crazy, man, to think about. Well, one good thing, guys, crypto YouTubing is going very well. I saw a lot of my friends hitting 700 viewers. I think Panda said he hit 2,000. I know uh, Brandon Coin was hitting like, what, 800, maybe up to 1,000 as well. I got up to almost 400. Now, to be fair, I couldn't stream to the good part, right? So, of course, but uh, I mean, that's crazy. My, my biggest live stream on YouTube was last week, actually, when we did the viewer call-in which was like 180 something. And then, yeah, we got like 383 peak. Like that's crazy, dude. Over 300 the whole stream. So shout out to all of you. I'm not gonna take up too much more of your time. Let me know, share your experience. Tons more videos to come talking about the aftermath of this. And then we're gonna start, after that kind of goes away, we'll start showing like the hash rates and all that. We'll start talking about other coins. I love every single one of you, man. Good luck. We're all spec mining right now. Let me know what you're spec mining. Please do join the Discord. Check me out on Twitter. I'm very active on both of those. Love every single one of you. Peace out.